I'm Roxanne, a former model, a makeup artist, and a mom. I started modeling when I was nine years old. I really loved it. I loved to travel and meet new people and be in a different city. I'm really happy that I have my baby. He's like my light, like, you know. He's Mr. Personality. Like, he has a lot of personality just for, you know, a seven month old. I'm Monique, and I'm Roxanne's older sister. The house is just messy, it's just a lot of stuff. Well, my house is very cluttered. Very cluttered. Just things that were left behind from other generations and some of my mom's things and my granddad's things. Also things that I've accumulated over the years. I definitely have concerns about when Joaquin starts walking that, you know, he could hurt himself, like get into something or like pull something down. Roxanne likes to save everything. I do feel that she's a hoarder. Yeah, I'm not a hoarder. I'm just like, I have a lot of stuff. This is a family home, and my mother and I moved in with my granddad. And so it's been in the family for a really long time. I do have many good memories from this house. I spent a lot of time with her, like every day. It's kind of difficult to like, you know, come home and she's not here. I'm happy that I had the mother that I had. I miss my mom a lot. If Roxanne doesn't get her life in order, she's going to always be upset, depressed. The horror it might get worse. I really know that my sister loves her baby, but if you don't keep everything in order, then people that don't really know you are gonna judge and that could become a problem. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Standalyn Robertson, a certified professional organizer. Tell me what your goal is. I want to like just get everything organized and have a, a nice, safe environment for Joaquin. Roxanne, she's at a real turning point because she's grieving the loss of her mother. And now she's faced with creating a safe environment for her son. To make the decision right now to deal with it means that Joaquin won't be inviting us here in 20 years to deal with it. I think we have a great plan, aggressive, but I think you're up for the challenge and we can get this done. Everybody ready? Yes. yes. Good, ready. okay, let's do it. favorite pants. <laughs> About my mom's bedroom, I didn't feel as though like I could go in there and start working, but alongside of my sister, it became a little bit easier. Favorite sweater. How's it going? Good. Easy? Um, uh, working through it. What's the hard part? Um, mommy's clothes. That is my mom's room that like I could still smell her in here. 
it wasn't that hard getting rid of the objects. It was just being in the room, you know, feeling her presence and knowing that that was somewhere that she was and I hadn't been in there in a while. I'm sad and I miss her, but I know she's not in pain anymore and I know she's not, she's not sad anymore. You know, I'm okay with that part of it, but you know, sometimes like, if I wanna just pick up the phone and call her, like that's setting in that I can't do that. Yeah, or touch her. You two have each other. Yeah. Yeah. You have each other. And there's a, I think there's a new way to touch your mom, to honor her. Roxanne and Monique coming together in the bedroom. I'm thinking that Roxanne's really getting the idea that the heart is not in objects, the heart is in oneself. She raised two good women and now we're, we're gonna help a lot of other women. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? You're feeling no, like something. Just, you know, I just miss my mom. Yeah. yeah. feeling really good about like today, you know, so I'm ready to get it started. Let's go. <laughs> so here's a suggestion. While the books are on the bookshelf and not bothering anybody, let's deal with all the stuff on the floor, all the stuff that's piled up, then we'll take a look at the books. But the but bookshelf let's... could be somewhere to put the stuff that's on the floor. I agree, but let's see how much we keep. Let's deal with the floor. If you're making we're just at the top of the stairs talking about our strategy for the craft room and it just went downhill from there. Roxanne does not read them books. I just do like you read. said. Okay, I then read how all come, the time. How do you talk about I don't read? Well, like, then how come you haven't read those books? Y'all been here for three years. I do read those you books. You read those books? So you already read them. I didn't read all of them. You don't need all those books. Monique speaks her mind. She doesn't have a filter on her mouth. Sometimes you gotta look at her and be like, Mo. The, what's the look? Like, the looks don't phase me, so either. Yeah, but if we I go out and start cussing everybody out, uh, and then you get what? mad if I for tell what? you how I'm but feeling, and walk. then you be like, Guess oh, what? I don't care. How about this? See, I exactly. See, just house. like that. See? Yes, just like so that. So, because by me not even saying favor. anything to you, then it won't even be a thing. Because I can go home to my. You need to grow up and act 32. No, just please, like, leave me alone for a second because, like, she's getting on my nerves. But she don't appreciate nobody doing nothing for her. She thinks that everybody is obligated to do stuff. That's that's no, just... What do you want to do, Roxanne? Do you want to no. finish this up? No. Yeah, I'm just... She's going to go outside and throw her tantrum. You going to go outside and throw a tantrum now? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the real Roxanne that everybody's seeing right now. If you don't say yes to what she wants, then she throws a tantrum. Roxanne. Let's start over. Really, Roxanne? Are you serious? Roxanne leaves, and now I'm stuck with the person that I need to make all of the decisions is gone. She ran down the street. She's gone. I don't know where she at. <laughs> I have guys just hanging around, waiting to help. I have a team of organizers, and she's gone. Hey, no, sis. You calm down a little bit? Mm -hmm. You ready to get back started? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So watch your mouth and let's go. All right. Let's go. When Roxanne came back, everything was OK. okay. There's no hard feelings. I, she is who she is, so I know her. Just today, everybody else got a chance to meet the real Roxanne. We're at a critical point. Truthfully, what I was thinking, I was like, let me not waste everybody's time. <laughs> like, we're here to do a job, so, you know. So that's why I, I pulled it together and came back. Oh, wow. When I walked into the house, I was stunned. I couldn't believe the transformation. Wow! 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 Wow!
Oh my gosh. When I first saw my studio, I was in awe. Oh. Yes. Wow. As Joaquin grows up in this house, he'll be able to enjoy the space now that it's clutter free. Wow. Look how cool. <laughs> Today, we have established a safe environment for Roxanne's child. Look, baby. You got your own room. Look at your crib. You know, it definitely lightens my load, you know, that I was carrying around on my shoulders. Say I like that, Mom. Ah! Wow, Mom. I wish Mommy was here so she could see this because she would really love it. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.